Hello, middle schoolers. Wow, sometimes you gotta fail to move forward, right? I would call that a fail, but next time I better get it right. Welcome to episode number 11. For today, all you're gonna need is water bottle, a sock ball, and a plastic grocery bag. I know some of you aren't using plastic out there, good for you. You'll be able to find something other than a plastic bag, I bet that will work. It could be a paper towel, maybe a cloth rag, a scarf, something that's going to float in the air after you throw it. Now our learning objectives today, number one, we're going to participate in vigorous exercise to strengthen our heart and to release all those happy chemicals. We are going to learn how to throw an object at a moving target. And finally, we're going to revisit and remember the first agreement. Do you remember what that first agreement is? The first agreement is to be impeccable with your word. Another way to say that is tell the truth. Or being impeccable with your word can also mean honoring your commitments. That means doing what you say you're going to do. And when we're impeccable with our word, I promise you, you're going to have far less stress in your life. And you're going to find a lot of success by telling the truth. And it's not easy. But remember to always tell the truth. All right. Make sure you have a safe environment to move in. And we're going to do a follow the leader warm up. Here we go.
right, middle schoolers, get a quick drink of water and we'll be back for our daily dose. daily dose, I have a riddle for you. It's called Truth Town. Now, in this riddle, there's two towns. Truth Town, where every person tells the truth. And then there's Liar Town, where everyone lies. Now, a person is walking, and they come to a fork in the road. One path leads to truth town where everyone tells the truth and one path leads to liar town where everyone lies and standing right in the middle of the fork is a person by asking this person one question only how can you get this person to show you where truth town is. And remember, this person is from either liar town or truth town, and you don't know that. And you can only ask them one thing. And you want to go to truth town. So what one question or statement can you say to this person to get them to show you where truth town is? The answer? coming up at the end of the class. If you need time to think about it, you're welcome to press pause. Otherwise, let's get ready for our daily dose of dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins, the happy chemicals that only get released with physical, vigorous exercise. Now, we're gonna go back to our classic 30 seconds of work, followed by 30 seconds of rest. During the rest, Watch me, because I will be showing you and explaining how to do the movement. And during the work time, where the timer says move, we'll do it together. All right, so let's get started. So the first movement, watch me first, just watch me, eyes on the screen. We're gonna do a lateral squat jump, so we're gonna do like a half squat, we're gonna hop, we're gonna hop, then we're gonna put our hands on the ground and go into our bulldog. This is called bulldog. Then you come up, squat jump to the side, squat jump to the side, bulldog. All right, let's do it together. Here we go. exercise. We're going to do a high plank. We're going to lower ourselves as slow as we can. Log roll. Push back up into high plank. Lower down. Log roll. Push back up into high plank. Try to keep your body as straight as possible. Here we go. High plank.
Awesome job, middle schoolers. All right. Next up, we are going to do a frog jump. And in the air, we're going to try to touch our feet together. So eyes on the screen, just watch me while you rest. So I'm going to get into my frog jump. And as I come up, I'm going to try to just gently tap my feet together. All right, here we go. Let's do it together. Awesome work, all right. Time to rest, take some deep breaths. Next up is skater jumps to sprawls. Now, to do a sprawl, putting it simply, is just get onto your belly and then come back up and just be safe. We're gonna do three skater jumps and then one sprawl, okay? Ready, set. Go, three skater jumps, and then a sprawl. Awesome job, all right. Time for you to take a breather, watch me. We're gonna do plank hopovers. So we get into our high plank, and we're gonna hop to the side, hop to the side, hop to the side, hop to the side. Try to get your feet to go just past your hands. All right, you ready middle scores? Let's do these together. 30 seconds, here we go. squat jumps to the bulldog. So get ready. Nice deep breath. Here we go. Time to rest. Next up is our high plank to our log rolls. Remember the focus here is when we're lowering down and coming up that you're bracing and you're stiff as a board, keeping a nice straight line from your ear to your heel. Do your best. All right, here we go. High plank, lower slowly. Whoa. 
Awesome job, middle schoolers. Next up, our frog jumps to our toe taps. During this rest time, really focus on your breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. This is a chance to recover, get your breath to recover, so that we're ready to push it again for the next 30 seconds. Here we go. mentally ready. Don't check out during these rest times. Keep your mind focused. Enjoy your body. Let's do this. out those wrists, give them a nice stretch. This is called active recovery. In between the exercises, giving yourself a little stretch is called active recovery. All right, here we go, plank hop overs. Welcome back. We are just ready for our game, just about ready for our game. However, before we play our game, our food rule this week is eat food that is grown, not made. What that means is, is we want to eat food that is grown, meaning it needs the sun. It needs water, like rain, and it needs earth. To grow and that type of food is very nutritious 
like fruits and veggies and nuts and seeds. The food that I'm talking about that's made is made in a factory with scientists and machines and artificial ingredients and preservatives and then they get packaged in plastic and then they get sat on a shelf and they last for a very long time. Those foods are less nutritious and we want to eat food that's more nutritious more often and so that's the food rule. Eat food that's grown, not made. All right, here's our game. It's called Ghostbusters. We got our softball, we got our plastic bag. Now, eyes on the screen, watch me, this is how I go, and then we'll all go together. Now, depending on the size of space you have, I'm assuming it's pretty small, so you're gonna pick a starting point where you're gonna throw your ghost up in the air, and then you're gonna take two steps away from your ghost, and then you're gonna use an overhand throw to try to hit your ghost. It looks something like this. Now, I don't know if you saw that, but I did hit my ghost, I could hear it. So, I would have received one point. Watch again, I have a starting point, I'm gonna throw, take two steps, Away, and then overhand throw. Throw, one, two. I missed, no points, all right? Now, one thing to keep in, keep in mind. Every time you hit the ghost, one point. But if you're lucky enough to have your softball go in your bag, in your ghost, that's worth three points. We're gonna see how many points we can get in one minute. There goes the train. Now, if you want, take time to pause and practice. Otherwise, we're gonna start the game one minute on the clock. See if you can beat me. All right, get ready. Here we go. a point. All right, middle schoolers, well, we're going to wrap up with a mindful minute. This one's a little different. We'll put on some calming music. We'll start with just checking in and taking a couple deep breaths. So find a spot where you can sit comfortably. Once you find your comfortable sitting position, let's just bring awareness to what our surroundings are sounding like, so see what kind of sounds you can hear in your environment. And then we're going to bring awareness to what it feels like to sit, feel the feet making contact with the ground, feel your bottom on the ground, feel your arms resting on your legs. And then if you're comfortable doing so, go ahead and gently close your eyes. And just bring awareness to your breath. 
And see if you can follow your breath all the way from the beginning of the in-breath to the start of your out-breath. And if your mind starts to wander, just note that your mind is wandering without judgment. That's what our minds do, they wander. Just notice that your mind's, mind had wandered and then bring your awareness back to your breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And I want you to take your three fingers, your pointer finger, your middle finger, and your ring finger on both hands. And I want you to gently find your cheekbones. And then just under your cheekbones, I want you to press. Don't press too lightly, but don't press too hard. Just a nice firm pressure under your cheekbones. And then take a couple deep breaths. And you may feel some tension and some tightness and maybe some soreness under here. This is a spot that holds sadness and grief. And sometimes our grief and our sadness get stuck right here. And by pressing here and taking some deep breaths, we can actually get the grief and the sadness to unstick and get released. We don't want it to stay stuck in there that can make us sick and have sinus problems. And when you're ready, go ahead and remove your three fingers. And then go ahead and bring your awareness back to the sounds you hear the feeling of your body on the floor, and then gently open your eyes. All right, middle schoolers. Well, that was a really fun episode 11. Our journal prompt for this week, if you choose to write about it, is a long time ago, way, way, way long time ago, people would get in really big trouble if they would tell scientific truths. For example, someone discovered that the Earth moved around the sun and got in a lot of trouble for telling the truth. People wanted that person to, to keep his, his or her mouth shut, right? Don't tell the truth. We don't want people knowing the truth. Why do you think back then People were so uncomfortable with scientific truths. And the answer to the riddle, truth found. What is the statement you could say to get that person to tell you were truth found? And the answer is you say, point to where you are from. Now think about it. If that person was from Liar Town, where are they going to point? They're going to point to Truth Town because they're liars. If that person was from Truth Town, where are they going to point? Truth Town. And that's where we want to go. All right. I'll see you next week for episode 12.